all right it's 8 30 the next morning went ahead and uncovered the hole and i put up this painter's drop cloth in here to keep any type of metal shavings from getting all over the place um, and i went ahead and marked the hole with the template we got two and a half inches going that way on either side and then i'm going forward i'm not going backwards at all um and i finished scraping off the best i could the uh the butyl that's up there so uh we're gonna go ahead and start getting going with cutting um i went this morning and bought an angle grinder with some metal cutting blades so i'm gonna get this set up and we'll get going so you can see my lines here and on here this is pretty level but the gasket's actually going to go over here so we're cutting most of this off um same with this side and over here the line is right on the black so my gas is actually going to go on top of this so i'm going to clean this up a little bit more after i cut um so uh make sure you're wearing safety glasses and i need to grab my gloves and um we'll get cutting but it's basically two and a half inches over on each side i made sure to center it that way when i go to cut a hole in the headliner that goes back up there i can just put the template on centered on there and it'll go uh it'll match up perfectly so let me get my gloves and i'll get cutting turn my phone off because of all the sparks but I got it out you can see why I covered everything down there because it's covered in everything but yeah got it cut out um, so now we're gonna clean this up and uh, get prepped for the new unit to go in there so for those wondering this is the size of the area I had to cut out um, from the max span I just went each side and then forward I did not cut backwards at all so that was a 14 inch cutout 14 by 4 and it's a little bigger than that 